The Vatican City is considered the center of the Catholic Church, as it is home to the Holy See, which is the central governing body of the Church. It is where the Pope, who is considered the spiritual leader of the Catholic Church, resides and carries out his duties. The Vatican City is also home to many important Catholic institutions, such as the Vatican Library, the Vatican Museums, and St. Peter's Basilica. These institutions contain priceless works of art and historical documents that are of great importance to the Catholic Church and the world at large. Furthermore, the Vatican City is the site of many significant events in Catholic history, such as the election of new popes and the canonization of saints. It is a place of pilgrimage for millions of Catholics from all over the world who come to visit and pay their respects. Overall, the Vatican City is a symbol of the unity and authority of the Catholic Church and plays a vital role in preserving and promoting the Church's teachings and traditions. Pope Leo IV was one of the most important popes in the history of the Catholic Church, and his reign was marked by his unwavering commitment to defending the Church against external threats. In the 9th century, the Saracen threat loomed large over Europe, and Pope Leo IV recognized the need to protect the Vatican City, which was the center of the Catholic Church. As a result, Pope Leo IV oversaw the construction of massive walls and towers around the Vatican City, which transformed it into a formidable fortress. His actions not only protected the Vatican City from the Saracen threat, but also ensured that the Catholic Church would continue to flourish for centuries to come. In this video, we will explore the historical context of the Saracen threat, the construction of the Vatican City's fortifications, and the impact of Pope Leo IV's actions on the Catholic Church and the world at large. Join us as we delve into this fascinating period of history and learn about one of the greatest popes of all time. In the 9th century, the Saracen threat posed a serious danger to Europe, and the Vatican City was no exception. The Saracens were Muslim invaders from North Africa and the Middle East who had already conquered vast territories in the Mediterranean and were expanding into Europe. The Saracens were known for their superior naval power and their use of terror tactics, such as raiding and pillaging coastal towns and cities. Their ultimate goal was to conquer Rome and establish their dominance over the Catholic Church. The threat of a Saracen attack on the Vatican City was a very real one, and Pope Leo IV recognized the need to take action to protect the church's center. He commissioned the construction of massive walls and towers around the Vatican City, which transformed it into a fortified city capable of withstanding even the most determined attacks. Despite the Saracen threat, the Catholic Church continued to thrive under the leadership of Pope Leo IV and his successors. The fortifications around the Vatican City ensured that the Church would remain a powerful force in Europe for centuries to come, and would continue to spread its message of faith and hope throughout the world. Pope Leo IV decided to fortify the Vatican City for several reasons. Firstly, he recognized the growing Saracen threat to the Vatican City and the rest of Europe. The Saracens had already conquered many coastal towns and cities, and their ultimate goal was to conquer Rome and establish their dominance over the Catholic Church. Secondly, the Vatican City was the center of the Catholic Church, and as such, it was a symbol of the Church's unity and authority. Pope Leo IV recognized that the protection of the Vatican City was essential for the survival of the Church and its message. Thirdly, Pope Leo IV was a strong and visionary leader who understood the importance of taking proactive measures to defend his people and his faith. He recognized that the construction of massive walls and towers around the Vatican City would provide the necessary protection to withstand even the most determined attacks. Overall, Pope Leo IV's decision to fortify the Vatican City was a bold and necessary step to protect the Catholic Church and its center of power from external threats. His actions ensured that the Church would continue to thrive and spread its message of faith and hope for centuries to come. In 846 AD, the Saracen threat that Pope Leo IV had feared became a reality when a large fleet of Muslim raiders attacked the city of Rome. The Saracens had already established a foothold in southern Italy, and their ultimate goal was to conquer Rome and establish their dominance over the Catholic Church. The city was ill-prepared to defend against such a large-scale attack and the Saracens were able to easily breach the city walls and enter the city. They proceeded to loot and pillage the city, taking valuable items and enslaving many of its inhabitants. The Vatican City itself was not directly attacked during this invasion, 
but the attack on Rome sent shockwaves throughout Europe, and many feared that the Saracens would soon target the Vatican City itself. Pope Leo IV's decision to fortify the Vatican City proved to be crucial in the defense against future Saracen attacks. The walls and towers that he had built ensured that the Vatican City was well protected, and the Saracens were never able to breach its defenses. The attack on Rome by the Saracens was a turning point in the history of Europe, and it served as a reminder of the need for strong and decisive leadership in the face of external threats. Pope Leo IV's actions in fortifying the Vatican City were instrumental in ensuring the survival of the Catholic Church and its message in the face of the Saracen threat. The Saracen siege on Rome in 846 AD had a significant impact on the city and the Vatican City. The attack was brutal and left Rome in a state of devastation. The Saracens pillaged the city, taking valuable items and enslaving many of its inhabitants. The attack also served as a wake-up call to the rest of Europe about the Saracen threat and the need for strong defenses. The Vatican City itself was not directly attacked during the siege, but the threat of an attack on the center of the Catholic Church was very real. The Pope at the time, Leo IV, recognized this threat and took proactive steps to fortify the Vatican City. He oversaw the construction of massive walls and towers around the city, which transformed it into a fortress capable of withstanding even the most determined attacks. The impact of Pope Leo IV's actions was significant. The fortified walls and towers around the Vatican City ensured that the Catholic Church remained a powerful force in Europe for centuries to come. They also served as a symbol of the Church's strength and resilience in the face of external threats. The Saracen siege on Rome and the Vatican City also had a wider impact on European history. It demonstrated the growing power of the Saracens in the Mediterranean and their determination to conquer Europe. It also served as a reminder of the need for strong and decisive leadership in the face of external threats, and it led to the development of new military strategies and technologies to defend against future attacks. Overall, the Saracen siege on Rome and the Vatican City had a profound impact on European history. It demonstrated the need for strong defenses and the importance of proactive leadership in the face of external threats. The actions of Pope Leo IV in fortifying the Vatican City ensured the survival of the Catholic Church and its message for centuries to come. Studying history and learning from past events is crucial for understanding the present and shaping the future. History provides us with a rich tapestry of experiences, ideas, and perspectives that help us understand how the world has changed over time and how we can better navigate the challenges of today. One of the most important reasons for studying history is that it helps us understand the complexities of human nature and the consequences of our actions. By examining past events, we can see the causes and effects of different decisions and understand the impact they had on people's lives. This understanding can help us make more informed decisions in the present and avoid making the same mistakes in the future. Furthermore, studying history allows us to appreciate the diversity and complexity of human cultures and societies. We can learn about different traditions, customs, and belief systems that have shaped the world and influenced our current values and beliefs. This understanding of different perspectives can help us become more empathetic and tolerant of others, as well as promote a sense of global citizenship. Finally, studying history is crucial for understanding the ongoing struggles and conflicts that shape the world today. By examining past conflicts, we can see the root causes of current political, economic, and social issues. We can also learn about the strategies and tactics that have been successful in resolving conflicts in the past, which can help us create more effective solutions in the present. In conclusion, studying history is essential for understanding the world we live in and for making informed decisions about the future. It helps us learn from the mistakes of the past, appreciate the diversity of human cultures and societies, and understand the ongoing struggles and conflicts that shape our world. I hope you found this video about Pope Leo IV's fortification of the Vatican City and the Saracen threat to be informative and thought-provoking. It is important to remember the lessons of history and to learn from the past in order to build a better future. Now, I would like to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the importance of studying history and learning from past events? Have you ever visited the Vatican City and seen the walls and towers built by Pope Leo IV? Do you have any other insights or comments on this topic? 
please leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family to continue the discussion and spread awareness about the importance of history. Thank you for watching.